Now, as you begin to master the framework of exactly what to say, a referral introduction is a common practice, whether that be an inspector, a mortgage provider, insurance provider. And as you start looking at referral introductions, the goal of any referral is to assist, meaning help. The best time when you look at a introduction to referral would be in the heightened awareness that the other person believes that it could be helpful to connect with the referral. Just think of it in the medical industry. The value of a referral is because of the fact that a general doctor is referring you to a specialist and you see value in seeing or reserving, receiving the referral. Could it help if I gave you a referral to blank? Yes, it could. Would it help if I gave you a referral to the person who can actually get you the medicine or what you want? Yes, that would be very helpful. Can we have it happen as quick as possible too? So depending on how much value you added and or urgency and desire that the other person has, the referral introduction is simple. It's gonna sound something like, well, knowing that this is your first time buying a home, and since you said that you're not very familiar with a lot of the programs that are available, and one of the fears that you have is that you are not going to be able to qualify for the type of home you want, could it be helpful if I introduced you to a mortgage professional who specializes in programs so you could better understand what you'll be eligible for based off your specific situation versus is just what you're getting in general on the news. Yeah, that could be helpful. So you see, they already answered what you're going to eventually give them at the end, which is, well, knowing that you said this and knowing that you said that, and since it would be helpful, be connected with a mortgage professional, here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to send your information. So for most people, what it is, is we're trying to ask too much to do something versus them tell us the value in what they want us to do. So then that way you're assuming there are no objections and we can just move forward with the next action, which is, so here's what we're going to do. And when you couple it with, so here is what we are going to do. You're also bridging a relationship that is almost the same authority of your primary care that referred you to a specialist. You are now the primary care referring them to a specialist on one side so they can come back to you for the transaction side of real estate.